Matter is a specification. To understand what matter is, you have to read through all its. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. 899 pages. That's a lot of work. So I took the challenge and read all the pages of the specification. Wow. And I'm going to tell you what matter protocol really is. We have no time to waste. Let's get started. Let's start with the problem matter is trying to solve. Set up a smart home device is so, so complicated. To enable this magic experience, Alexa, turn off living room light. You need to do the following setup. Open Alexa app. Search for manufacturer name. Download manufacturer's app. Open manufacturer's app. Register an account. Log in and set up. Go back to Alexa app and discover. And many other steps. For matter, the setup process is going to be simplified. By a lot, you just need to follow the following steps. Open apps that support matter. Put device in setup mode. Scan QR code. Connect to Wi-Fi or thread network. You are all set up. Just as simple as that. Wow! It drives me crazy when buying a smart home device. You need to do lots of research to figure out if it's compatible with the voice assistant you're using. Or maybe you have multiple voice assistants and it works only with one. Doing all those feels like researching for a PhD paper without getting a PhD. For big players like Google, Amazon, Apple, they want to keep people in their own smart home ecosystem. Unfortunately, those ecosystems don't talk or integrate with each other. To have support in Alexa, Google Home, Apple HomeKit, manufacturers have to integrate with each one of them. That requires lots of efforts. Matter will fix this. With all major players like Amazon, Google, Apple, Samsung, and many more companies have committed on supporting Matter, that will bring benefit naturally to customers. It means whatever gadget you bought, as long as it supports Matter, you are supported in major players' ecosystems by default. So what is matter? A lot of my perspective about matter changes after reading 899 pages of the specification. Now I'm going to explain to you what matter is with what I learned. Let's start with architecture of how smart home devices control was implemented today. The most likely architecture for customers to be able to control a smart home device will look like this. We have a client customer can interact with. It could be an app, a voice assistant, or web browser. To control the device, the client talks to a server on the public internet via predefined APIs. For example, this is the API client needs to call to turn on the light. This is the API to turn off the light. And this is the API to get the on-off status of the light. Upon receiving the HTTP request, the service will process and control the light via pre-established communication channel. With Matter, everything is happening in the local network. So the architecture diagram will look like this. Instead of hosting the service in the cloud, the service will be hosted on the device itself. Instead of going through the public network to control the light, the command will be sent via local network to the device directly. Instead of communicating via HTTP, Matter has defined its own application layer protocol for the client and server to communicate with each other. In Matter's specification, it defines a set of APIs the device needs to implement via a concept called Cluster. Cluster is a set of APIs that the device should expose for a certain functionality. For example, if a device supports turn on and turn off, then it needs to implement on-off cluster. On-off cluster exposes several interfaces the client can use to communicate with the device. In this example, the client can read the on-off attribute of the cluster to query the status of the light. And the client can also turn on or turn off the light with issuing on-off command. Let's take a look at the cluster that have been defined in the matter specification. This is on-off cluster we have referred to earlier. This is level controller. It can be used to model the brightness of light or the volume of a device, for example. This is a mode select cluster. It can be used to model wash cycles of a laundry machine, for example, all the modes of the dryer. There are many more clusters. If you want to take a look, you can refer to Matter Application Cluster Specification. It can be downloaded from Matter website. 
to securely send the message so that only the sender and receiver can understand. Traditionally, we have HTTPS, which leverages TLS. In matter, the secure communication channel is established via PACE and key session. Message payload will be encrypted via case or PACE session before sending the receiver via TCP protocol. Note that PACE session will only be used during commissioning. Oh right, commissioning is another very important topic I didn't cover. I'll cover that in another video. So if you are interested to know more, please do subscribe to my channel. Okay, that's a very general overview of what matter is. Please do like this video for the sake of reading 899 pages of matter specification. And do leave a comment below about what content you would like to know more. I'd like to make that in my next video. Thank you.